Welcome back, darlings. Two videos this week. This one is the ultimate summation of all my findings from testing these different products. Don't read too much into the order of these here. It's uh, bottle size, nothing else. And um, the ultimate question really was, and the reason I started trying all these different products was, is there something better than ONR or as good at it? As good at it was actually a fair question to ask because we can never get hold of it. It's, it's so rarely in stock. Um, but it is very good, it's known to be very good, it's used all around the world, it's kind of seen as the gold standard of it, of rinse and wash products. But should it be? And if you can't get hold of it, what else should you use? So, um, let's talk about, let's let's start off with what I found out of all of these ones that is the best, I think is the best rinse and wash product I've used. Femlab. And not just a little bit, this is by a long way, I think, the best rinseless wash soap, if that makes sense. Um, it cleans better, it works better as a pre-rinse, uh, it works better as a rinseless wash, it uh, cleans through the dirt, more dirt, um, more effectively, doesn't leave any extra marring that I can tell than any of the other wash products do versus any other way of uh, washing, it just depends how you use it. Um, yeah, this this is seriously, seriously good. I can imagine on the coated car that this is probably outrageous. You probably say the same for all of them. This leaves nothing behind. Um, and it's also great, uh, sort of, I say panel prep, you'd still want to use a prep product afterwards, but um, for uh, washing off polish residue, mm, amazing. They're all good at it. This one's very good at it though. Um, so I would say out and out, this is the best rinseless wash product of the four that I've tried. I think it's probably one of the best on the market, in all fairness, but it is brilliant. The only downside, uh, if you think it's a downside, is that you can't really use it as a QD. It doesn't work particularly well like that. It is a detergent. That said, even though you can use the rest of these as QDs, none of them are as good as a good QD, like uh, Garage Therapy's one, for example, or the Ferret Club. Any QD, actually. To be honest, I would say most QDs are better than these as a QD. Um, what's the worst one? It's probably the other end of the spectrum, right? Wolfgang. Um, I've got some real problems with this. I, don't, I wouldn't say any of these are bad, but of these ones, this is the worst for me. Um, I've got issues with how it performs. Yeah, it works well as a rinseless wash, but it. Uh, I find it stains your cloths when you're using it as a QD um, it stains your wash media like your um, your wash mitt when you're using it as a wash um, wash solution and it it doesn't let go of the dirt so I find that uh, there's a rim around the top of the buckets of the dirt the dirt the bucket walls feel like they hold on to it like I actually have to spray surfex in there at maybe five percent and use my soft wheel brush to scrub the buckets clean afterwards uh, that to me isn't great if you remember when I did the video testing this and I did the wheels, the brush came off like black. None of the others have done that when I've done it. Um, and the biggest issue I found is I washed the CarPro Dab Dab mitt that I used after doing this and another couple of cars. So if I've been rinsing out in fresh water and stuff between cars, thinking that was getting off most of the media. Then I, um, missed the diet, sorry. Then I washed it in the washing machine with ODK's microfiber wash and a bunch of my other microfibers. They all came out nice and clean. I thought the mitt was. I dropped the mitt in a bucket of Fenlab um, for, uh, for my next job that I was doing. And the clean water for the wash medium then went almost black, like dirty, like it was like it had been at the end of a wash. So not only does it encapsulate the dirt everywhere, it also makes it very difficult to get out. And I would say you can't trust that your cloths that you've used as a drying towel with the QD um, or the uh, wash mitt are actually clean and dirt free. So that is going to be a potentially increase the chance of marring. So to me, it's not really acceptable. One thing that is good about it is it is by far and away the best QD out of this lot. And I say there's these three really, the McKees, R&R and that. Because the FenLab, you can't really use as a QD. Uh, but it should be, because these are all uh, 1 to 250, or 1 to 256, but broadly the same. This is 1 to 400. But as a QD, that is 
1 to 16, this is 1 to 16, this one doesn't say, so I used it at 1 to 16 and it seemed to work all right. Um, but I, that is then about a third more concentrated, so it should be the best QD. It still isn't as good as a good QD though. Okay. Um, uh, to the point with this, I'm actually tempted to chuck it. That's how much I don't want to use it anymore because of the mess that it makes of my tools. So if someone wants it, pay for postage and I'll send what's left to you. It's about, about mm, 200 mil. So yeah. Um, then the next question really is, okay, FemLab, easily the best cleaner, best pre-wash, blah, blah, blah. I'm really looking forward to trying that um, and pitting it against auto foam and the stuff for like in proper winter months. I'm not saying I'm expecting it to perform as well as auto foam or uh, any other pre-wash product, but I'm really curious to see how it gets on. I think it's probably the way I'd like to summarize that. So yeah, so keep an eye out for that on the uh, on the channel. Um, oh, the other thing to mention about the Wolfgang, by the way, is it's the most expensive, and it's it's not just a little bit the most expensive. It's the most expensive by a long way. So let me give you an example. This is a four seven. Uh, three mil, so I think that's 16 fluid ounces, yeah. Um, and that was 20 pounds, 1995, so 20 pounds. Um, if you're making out 15 liters of wash solution, you need an ounce, uh, go, sorry, go, yeah, an ounce and a quarter, which makes 38 mil, which is one pound 82 per wash, if you're doing 15 liters. The ONR, when you buy it in a gallon, that's important because this is the biggest size, um, it is, um, it's 45 pounds, give or take, for a gallon. Um, for 15 litres, you use 68 mil, two ounces, and that is 64 peel wash. The Fenlab, this was 20 pounds for a litre. I have since found they also sell five litre ones. It's never been in stock anywhere, so I've not been able to see the price. Um, well, I say well, never been in stock. Never been in stock when I've been looking, but they do sell five litre ones of this, so that's really good. Um, but still, that's 20 pounds for a litre works out at um, you need 60 mil because it's 1 to 250 and it's £1.26 per wash. So it's the more expensive one of these three, but it, then it cleans so well. And if you could buy the 5 litre one, I don't know what the price was. I imagine that price per wash would come down, but it is better. So it's worth it, I think. Um, and then the McKees, you can also buy a gallon. Um, you can buy 32 ounce like this and the 16 as well, much like the ONR. That is about £60 per gallon. Um, you use two ounces in 15 litres, so it's 87 a wash. Something to note with that, with the McKees, is it doesn't seem to have the economy of scale that when you go big on ONR, it gets considerably cheaper. The McKees doesn't seem to be much different. I'm sure there is, I haven't done all the maths, but I'm sure there is a difference, uh, but it's not much. Would that put me off it? Nah, no, not really. Um, it works well. Interestingly, when put into the bucket, the Fenlab foams up a bit, not loads, but it does. The ONR doesn't, and the McKees does a bit. Uh, it feels soapier. The ONR is different. So, really, let's say I'm saying this is the best one, but overall, if you just if you just wanted one product to do your uh, rinse this wash with and your uh, QD, you want to do one product for everything. Um, uh, let's extend this further. Same with all of these, but extend it with these two further, and the Fenlight maybe. I wouldn't use the Wolfgang because of the staining issue. You can do the interiors with these really easily. What I find most of the time, even if they're pretty heavily soiled, you don't need a really strong detergent. You need a bit, something that encapsulates the dirt. Um, one of those microfiber, microfiber scrubber pads, they are brilliant, and, and just liquid you know, to soften it up and carry it away. These are brilliant for that. So the point that I kind of mix up the wash solution, and I do the interior first, and then I wipe over the panels and stuff and quickly dry them off. They leave a nice finish. Um, do the glass, both work pretty well on the glass. I mean, that's marginally better. Um, and then go and do the outside with them. And even the wheels, if you see the McKees video um, in that, actually how well the wheels come up from just a rinseless wash. No, they're not perfect, but for maintenance stuff, pretty good. Let's cut to this chase, really. Um, of these two, which one would I go for? Which one's better? Um, I still think 
the ONR is better. But it is it's better at everything, but only marginally. I think it's got a nicer fragrance. Uh, in fact, this has the nicest fragrance of the lot, in my opinion. It's very subjective. Um, yeah, these two are really, really close. This is a little bit better in every use case that I've used it in, but it is not good enough in terms of how much better it is to hold out for that to come into stock when you can get hold of that. So I think that's, I mean, it, it is really good for the McKees. Um, I'm saying I prefer the ONR. It's a slightly slicker QD. It's definitely a better pre-wash. It's broadly the same for interior. Maybe it's a little bit better on the glass, but, you know, marginal. Um, but the biggest problem with ONR is you can't get hold of it that frequently. And that's why when I saw the Gallon one come in stock, it's like, I'm not using it that much because I'm testing all these other ones, but I want it. <laughs> and so I got it. Um, but you can't always get it. And that is really the biggest issue. So McKees, um, McKees was the only one I didn't pay for. I bought all the others. Uh, so I actually bought them all from different suppliers, I think. I got this from Interdetailing because it was in stock and I was wanted something else. The original Fenlab, I got the smaller one, like the 250 mil. I think I got that from KKD because they were selling it. I got the litre one from uh, Interdetailing because they had it when I was ordering this. Wolfgang... Wolfgang, I think I got from into detailing in the end. Yeah, because I was ordering the other stuff. Um, and the keys came from into detailing too. You can buy it from wherever you want. The links I've got below to all of these different things are to into, de into detailing because they've got affiliate links, uh, which works out well for me. But they're all there. So you kind of take your choice, really. Uh, and what's the one final thing to say? Yeah, if you see it in the keys video for this one, I use the big gold sponge. Um, which is really similar to the Big Red Sponge by Optimum and the Ultimate Black Sponge that they kind of iterated on. It genuinely makes a difference. I think it makes your rinse this wash process better. I genuinely do. I've been through all of the different things I could think of. I've used the Carpro Dab Dab. It's very, very good. Multi-sided um, microfiber pad. Definitely, definitely use that. I wouldn't use the, a chenille or, um, sorry, a single-sided chenille. That's not good. I used the lamb, short haired Lamb's Wool one. Yeah, it's all right, but I think you need the longer fibres. Uh, and I used a cloth, the long pile, I think it's like 350 or 500 GSM microfiber. That was the least enjoyable experience for me. It was the first one I did actually as well, but it was the least enjoyable experience. I found that quite difficult. I think you need to multi-cloth. Um, to which point, just the big gold sponge was really good, made it easier and quicker, and I it felt a lot slicker, which was really good. Anyway... A lot of waffling. That was one take as well, so I hope it's gone all right. Um, thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed the journey with me. Um, and I'll see you in the next one when I'm hopefully talking about something other than rinse this wash. <laughs> thanks very much. See you soon.